Uh, let's talk about Nintendo. Enough E3 stuff for now, I guess. Uh, they had a Pokemon Nintendo Direct, I think, today, but I don't know anything about it. So somebody fill me in. The Wii U game, the Pokemon like fighting game that apparently is terrible, is coming to the Switch. Pokemon Pokin Tournament. Pokemon Tournament. It's supposed to be very bad from what I've read, which is sort of a bummer because my daughter is just getting into Pokemon and I have a Switch. So the fact that there's not going to be a good Pokemon game on the Switch is sort of disheartening. Well, there will be at some point, probably. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Right after Pokemon get... Tournament has a 76 on Metacritic. Oh, that's fine. Sure. That's good enough for you. Are you too good for a 76, Wombat? I am, yes. Mm. You were all excited about it on Instant Messenger today before you Before found I knew what it was. I said, uh, all I saw was Pokemon game for Switch. That was the oh, headline. Okay. And I'm like, oh, cool, Pokemon game for Switch. And I was excited because I thought it'd be something I could play with my daughter, and apparently it isn't. It's a fighting game. Yeah. It's it's Tekken Pokemon. Tekemon. Well, Pokemon is what they went with. Oh. Tekemon. They didn't announce something else? Yeah, and uh, uh, Sun and Moon remastered or whatever it is for the 3DS. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. U- Ultra Moon or something? Something like that. Wait, it's a, it's a remaster? I thought Wait, it was. These... Are they new new or are they old ones repackaged for the They're... 3DS? I thought Sun and Moon, weren't they 3DS games to begin with? I don't know. Maybe there has new stuff in it. That's why there are Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I honestly, I'm. I, the game is heavily based on last the last game last year's Pokemon Sun and Moon. But it's different, and it will further expand on the world and story of those entries. All right then, something new. Kind of <laughs> newish. Wombat, you you started like a big battle in our comment section. About your Zelda comments, like almost 99% of the comments on last week's show were about Zelda. Your but the take interesting, on Zelda. The interesting thing about those comments, because I honestly, I very much felt like I was alone in my thoughts. And it turns out there were a lot more people that agree with me than I thought. I'm mm-hmm. not saying more people agree with me than disagreed with me, but I'm not alone, which I think says something. Including Nick Chester, famous uh, yes. former game journalist and now uh, gaming Epic. mogul. Yeah. So, like this, well, Phillies, at Phillies, had to say, <laughs> you keep RTing people who agree with you, but literally every issue you name stems from you not being good at the game. And Enter the Foe had to say, comparing Zelda to Mass Effect is like Coke, co- is like, Coke to Sam's Club soda. (laughs) And, huh? Nothing. Yeah. Uh, But Cy Niak said, Oh my God, listening to episode 501 of the CatCast and New Wombat definitely said what I've been saying all along about Zelda. It's the same issues as Mass Effect. Hmm. But then this person said, <laughs> at Ad Custom said, hearing Wombat talk about Breath of the Wild being inferior to Mass Effect <laughs> made me seriously ill. Thank God for <laughs> shipwreck. <laughs> but then VJ Ostrowski had to say, holy shit on Breath of the Wild. Thank you. I thought I was the only one. Eight out of ten. I definitely see the seams in the openness of the world. And I at Ivan C. Torres had to say, I agree with you 1 million percent on Zelda Breath of the Wild. It feels like a lot of work, lots of not having the right weapons. And Drew Brew 82 had to say, Wombat, you totally nailed my experience with Breath of the Wild as well. Another great episode. Thanks, Chippy and Chipwreck. So it, it's... I'm not alone in my criticisms. I I think it's really like a it's two extremes. Either this game totally locks into you, and you got it, or there's just something about it. it's like um, it's like cilantro. Either you really like it, or it tastes like soap. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I like cilantro too, but I also know people that think cilantro tastes like soap and they can't like, eat it. Like my mom. See. It doesn't make your mom a bad person. She just thinks cilantro tastes like soap. Right. I wish she would eat it, though. It seems. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure. 
And I and I haven't stopped playing the game. I keep playing it, thinking like uh, there's part of me that's like this is gonna click, and I'm gonna be like I don't know what I was talking about. I was so stupid, and I'm gonna go on the next show and I'm gonna talk about how dumb I was. And it just hasn't happened yet. I played a good chunk over the weekend. Oh, really? Good. Mm-hmm. But it's still not clicking. It's still not really clicking. I don't know. Hmm. <clears throat> I blame myself. I uh, me too. I no, I'm. I agree with you. I mean, I was I had the same experience, really, but I should I haven't gone back to it. But it's not your uh, it's not your thing at all, cheapy. But but why? I mean, I like good games, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't like good games. What that that's I mean, you can't just do a blanket statement of I like good games. I like great like, games. I, you don't I like have Dark a, Souls. I have a very specific game type that I like to play. Which I think you know is is acceptable, uh, you know, especially at my age, to know what I like. Although then again, I'm playing, you know, the other games I'm playing right now. I think are games that you don't necessarily always think of with me. Like I've been playing Doom, the Doom game that came out last year. Mm-hmm. I'm still playing that, and that game is really good. Yeah, that game's a lot of fun, and it's not the usual kind of thing that I play. Uh, but it well, does have some elements of those kind of games, so I think that might be why I like it. We're going to have to check in with you every so often to see how your Zelda experience is going and when maybe it'll click for you at some point. Or maybe not. I I doubt it. I don't think it's going to click at this Hmm. point. He's seen everything there is to see at this point. All right. Eight out of ten. Sorry, Wombat. It's okay. Maybe uh, the new Mario game will do it for you. Maybe. I mean, I, I don't blame you, Wombat. It's all right. Yes, I am looking forward to the new Mario game. And, you know, there is also, you know, I never played Mario Kart, what is it, 8? Uh-huh. Yeah, I never played that, so that would be new to me, and that would uh, be fun to play. Uh, no, not with the family? Uh, is your is your wife going to play with you? No, but my kids would. They play it in Aftercare. Oh. There's a kid mm. that brings it every day. Wow. Well, maybe they'll be good enough to make it interesting yeah, for you. But they play that. Still, there's just not that much to do in that game. It's sort of like... They, pl- they play that and 1-2 Switch. Hmm. We found somebody mm-hmm. pl- playing that. Yeah. 